Hey, Llama Llama, uh, Rap Pajama. Reads a story with who? With his mama. Hey, mama kisses, what? Baby hair. Mama Llama goes all the way downstairs. Hey, Llama Llama, what? Rap Pajama. Feels alone with who? Without his mama. Hey, Baby Llama, it wants a drink. Mama's at the kitchen, what the kitchen sink, I'm talking. Llama Llama. Hello everybody, welcome to module 6, Phonological Awareness. The purpose of this video is to go over the objectives of the module, important terms, and also the artifact that we have to turn in. The objectives or this module are understanding of phonological awareness and why it is important for reading development, evaluate the articulation of phonemes in English, analyze and practice systematic and explicit phonological awareness instruction, and to respond to student data. We are going to start by reviewing some of the terms that we're going to see across the module. The first term is sentence segmentation, and this is the ability to separate and identify words in spoken language. The second term is syllabication, and this is the ability to orally blend, segment, and manipulate syllables. The third term is alliteration, and this is the ability to note when an initial consonant sound is repeated within connected speech. The fifth term is rhyming, and rhyming is the ability to perceive words that have same or similar ending sounds, identification of the sound, and also production of the sound. Onset and rhyme is the initial consonant, the vowel sound, and the rest of the letters that follow in a syllable. The last term is phonemic awareness. Phonemic awareness is the ability to blend, segment, and manipulate phonemes in spoken words. Phonological awareness is an overarching term that refers to building oral language development through a continuum of skills such as listening, rhyming, alliteration, sentence segmentation, blending and segmenting syllables, onset rhyme, and phonemic awareness. It is the ability to detect and manipulate the sound structures of spoken language at the sentence, word, syllable, and phoneme level. It is also a prerequisite for decoding and encoding. Phonological awareness is one of the best predictors of future reading success. When students can detect speech sounds in words, they can begin the process of mapping sounds to letters, making decoding and encoding possible. Students who show poor phonological awareness skills at the end of kindergarten are more likely to have difficulty learning to read than those that have well-developed phonological awareness skills. Phonemic awareness facilitates children's understanding that sounds in spoken words can be represented by letters in print. As we go through the modules, we will notice that phonological awareness instructions has to be research-based, has to be explicit and systematic, and that means that we are going to use the gradual release of responsibility model, the I do, we do, and you do process to teach it, and we have to engage on an ongoing progress monitoring process. This will guarantee we're using the science of teaching reading as a baseline to teach phonological awareness. If you are a content area teacher, you may be asking yourself, how does this relate to what you do on a daily basis? And I would like us to remember that phonological awareness is built throughout the day because students are learning to notice the sound structure of language. We have a couple of items in the housekeeping section. Number one, please read the announcements as they are going to give you some guidance on the pace of the course. Work with and consult teams when you go through the modules. When we work together, it makes going through the modules easier and smoother. Use all your resources when you're completing the post-test. I know that we have talked about this in the past and you already know what resources we can use. I look at the parking lot every single day and there is a session in the parking lot for artifacts. If you have questions, you can leave them there. If you are a little bit behind and you need an alternate timeline, please don't hesitate to contact me. I would be happy to help you. Also, if you need help with your artifacts, please don't hesitate to call me. I can lend you a helping hand and we can work this out together. If you want any help in planning, recording, or reviewing your video, you can email me. We can meet up via Zoom and work together to make the video spot on. I'm here to help and support you. So have a great week and thanks for listening.